Enugu County, Lagos, the commercial center of Nigeria. Since the discovery of oil in 1956, Nigerian government has been practicing a monolithic system of economy. The implication of this is untapped revenue resources resulting in severe hardship. It has a developing mixed economy based largely on petroleum production and agriculture. Therefore, many of these other economic areas remain like untapped gold mines a vast area of rich cultural heritage and tradition. Nigeria is one of the most culturally diverse countries in the world. So why must we need to dig deep to uncover these creative fields? Fields like media and entertainment, which covers publications, films, television, and so much more. Heritage, which include traditional cultural expressions, ethnic, religious, linguistic, and historic difference. Well-established names like Nikia Davis, Victor Hikameno, and Yinka Shonibari have all played their part in enriching and showcasing Nigerian art culture. But today I don't want to focus on well-established names but names who rain or shine keep the arts in communities. In this documentary, I will be focusing solely on the arts as an underdeveloped and untapped gold mine in Nigeria. Today we're visiting the Oba Elegushi Market, or as it's popularly known, Jakonde Art Market, the largest arts and craft market in Nigeria. It has been up and running for 45 years now and it doesn't seem like it's stopping. This art market is a treasure trove of deep-rooted crafts and inherited businesses in the arts. Somewhat like Aladdin's cave, you're sure to find many historical treasures buried here. much history wrapped in one video, but I couldn't sum it all up myself, so I sought the help of three individuals all thriving in their respective artistic fields. My name is Nasi Mbatunji. With the little I've had, I think the government have not supported this place so far. Yeah, this is just like a private individual that happens to be a development from just a beach to the existence of Japanese. So, and we are we receive different kind of dignitaries all over the country. Like even the king of Morocco have visited this place before. And it was a great pleasure for a whole king to leave Morocco and travel down to Japanese to come and feel the beauty of artwork in Africa. My name is Chinasa Akin Bagun. I specialize in bag making and I work with, basically I work with Ankara. Anything that has to do with fabric, I, I produce them. Yes, be it anything you want. Foreigners, Indian, the US, American, Kenyan, different countries, they come here because this is a tourist market. I deal with wood, most especially on wood. So, if it's marks, if it's um, any type of sculptures, um, and I do with uh, metal work as well. Have some nice metal, like this bike now is a metal work. This is metal, so I do with wood work and metal. 
I, I collect from different artists. Some I do myself. Not even Nigeria. I collect some marks from Ghana. Like this is Ghana works. It is Ashanti marks. These are Maga marks from Ghana. You can see. This is Nigeria. This is the first art mask. You can see. The wood and everything, the, the design, the technique is, is different. This is from Nigeria. So anything from Nigeria, if I show you anything from Ghana, you will see the difference, the big difference. So this is from Ghana as well. This is from Ghana, this is from Nigeria. The first one. Just like the bronze I have here. This is the first one. This is what my hope is that this country will wake up to the untapped gold mines and that the stolen artifacts will be restored and placed in its rightful home. My name is Christina Smith and I was created to create.